Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play Neo Geo ROMs on your R4 card on any DS system. So this works on DS, DS Lite, DSi, 3DS. Um, all you need for this video is an R4 card with an SD card in and obviously a PC to copy the files across. So go and connect your R4's SD to your PC and I'll show you guys how to set this thing up. Right guys, so once you've connected your R4's SD card to your PC, I will leave the links in the description. Uh, the first link here is just the GBA Temp website um, where I found out this emulator. So it has all the instructions, it also has the download file. Um, just the thing to note about the download file, I scrolled down in the comments section and I found a recompiled version from this guy and I found out that this version worked and when I tried the normal version I just couldn't get it to work on my R4 so here is a link to the um, you know the version that the guy edited so if you guys want to get that all you want to do is just click the download button and then it's just going to download super quick so you guys can get either version it doesn't really matter if you want to get the official version or the recompiled version uh, which was made a year later it's entirely up to you um, there's just a, another few things to note guys, you will need a Neo Geo ROM, but you will need it in this sort of main ROM set, so you can find that very easily, just type in Neo Geo ROMs and MU Paradise will, um, and MU Paradise will be the best place for you to get that. You'll also need a Neo Geo BIOS file, now I'm not going to link these files because um, Nintendo have been using Neo Geo stuff on the Switch, so you know I don't really want to give this stuff away. And yeah, that's pretty much all you will need. A game in the main ROM set, and then a Neo Geo BIOS file. So I'll show you them in my downloads folder right now. Uh, this is what they look like. So I've got Metal Slug right here. As you can see, that is the format. I got this one from MU Paradise, so you guys can do the same. And then it's just a Neo Geo BIOS, which I also got from MU Paradise, and this looks just like that. So if you guys want to link it in the comments section, or somebody wants to link it, go ahead. Um, I don't mind, I just can't show you guys in the video. So anyway, um, once you've got this zip file right here, all you want to do is right click it and then select Extract 2. It's then going to extract it into this folder. All you want to do is go into it, and it's going to look just like this. So what you want to do first is you want to convert these two files, so the Metal Slug game and the BIOS, into the correct files. So all you want to do, right click copy them, go into the file, go into this file, go into Neo DS Convert, so this could get a bit confusing, so just follow exactly what I do. Paste these files in here. Now what you want to do is just double click this one, but you can only double click it once these two files are in, and you can also put as many games in as you want. So double click this file, it's then going to open and close really quick, you then want to right click the document, just do refresh, and now you will have these two files, converted BIOS and converted game. So all you want to do is just select all these files and drag them to the root. So drag them up here to this folder right here called NeoDS and then paste it on there. You can then delete the game zip folder. So then go on NeoDS just so it's looking like this and here is your mslug.neo and here is the, there should be a DS file, here is the DS file. So what you want to do, um, you want to drag these files onto the root of your R4 card. So mine's plugged in right here, just drag them onto the root. Once they're dragged onto the root, all you want to do is just delete them from this file. Then go back onto this file, so NeoDS, and then just drag the whole NeoDS folder onto your R4's SD card. So hopefully I explained that as well as possible. It actually took me, I'm going to say about two hours to figure this thing out because the guides were really bad. Um, but eventually I got it working. So it looks like just like this, metalslug.neo and neods.nds. If you have a problem when you're converting your game, um, probably just try and download a different game from a different website, I'd say. That's probably your best bet. But anyway, neods and it should just look like this. So that is the setup you need. Now you can disconnect your R4 card from your PC and I'll show you guys how well the games perform. Right guys, so now you can just put your SD card back into your R4 card. And now you can just plug it into your DS. Right guys, so once you're on your DS, you can just power it on, then go ahead and launch up your R4 card.
Now make sure you just back out, then select your micro SD card, and then scroll down on the main SD, and this is what you're looking for, it has a Neo Geo logo, uh, you can just press A to launch it. So then it's just going to load up like this, and you will see your games selected on the select ROM list. So if your games aren't displaying, it's probably because they're not on the root um, of your R4 card, so make sure they're on the root. Once your games are displaying, all you have to do is just press start. Or you can scroll up and down the list, but I've only got one game, so I just press start. It's then going to load up here. Um, this does have full working sound as well. You can actually turn sound off to improve performance on some games. But I don't really think it's necessary, considering I'm running this off the original DS, and it's running really well. Um, I think it's really cool. So let's just press start, or select, whatever it is, and let's just do a quick game. So yeah, considering this is the old 3DS, it's actually really good and 100% playable. This is probably even better um, on the 3DS consoles, so if you guys try it on that, let me know. I was going to make this video on my 3DS, but I just found it was out of charge. Um, so this was the only console I had to hand that actually had some battery in it. But anyway guys, that is how you play Neo Geo games on your R4 card on any DS system. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.